All right. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Melkaven. Uh, gonna be casting this game here between Milady and Vodka. So these are two excellent players in Europe. Um, they wake up pretty early in the morning, and there's no one else online, and usually it's just Vodka kicking everybody's ass. But Milady's actually pretty good, so this will be fun to watch. The map here is Ravaged. So the thing about Ravaged is. Um, I mean, there's good wind, but you get these super tight corridors, so it's kind of like StarCraft, where you have, like, a the main, the natural, first expansion. It's kind of like that. But, you know, a lot more run-bys and stuff, because this is not StarCraft, but... Um, mm, so he go. they don't even go for the four mechs. He goes for two mechs, a bunch of wind, and a lab. So Vodka goes for the three mechs, but he makes a solar... So, I mean, it's kind of less efficient, but, I mean, he has the extra max, so maybe it's worth it. But both of them trying to get that. I mean, the wind is 15, so Milady clearly wins in this scenario. You know, in openings. And he has the earlier lab, so he can get the constructors out faster, so he can get these, start capping on the map. So he's probably going to have better income in the, you know, in the next three minutes. Um, both of them are core, and both went bots. So, all right. So they're both going to have AKs. There's not going to be the Peewee AK discrepancy here. And he's going for like a bunch of wins. So this is like really long term. I think Vodka... So both of them are probably going to calm walk right now. It's kind of interesting. If anybody went uh, arm right now, they'd have fleas already at the enemy base. So if you had fleas right here, you'd be able to... I mean, if you were to run them fast enough... There's a random chance that the, the any kind of laser weapon misses a flea. So if you had like three fleas, you'd probably get only like five shots off with a commander. you get all this shit in the back. So they are playing pretty risky, believe it or not. You know, I guess they just, the AK is so good that they just don't think that any, you know, they would pick arm. But it's great. So he's like keeping this guy here as an LLT. Yeah, so still... This, we're at minute, this is like two minutes, almost 30 seconds, and no LLTs on the map. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Defend with units, it's always better. Yeah, there's a radar on this side. No radar on this side, I think, so he's kind of blind. It's kind of a pattern I see with Milady, is he doesn't build, he doesn't really know what's going on. Well, okay, he makes a lot of predictions about what's going on. He doesn't, like, know for sure. He doesn't have, like vision or extended radar or he does not he's not constantly sending scout spam to figure stuff out whereas vodka he's always trying to figure out what you're doing like he will always like right here i mean really what he was trying to do is figure out the timing on these mexes to figure out where his calm walk was he saw the commander had already walked out so he probably knows i mean he probably feels comfortable now that um walking out himself and putting defenses because he, he knows the commander's there he knows that there's no early early shenanigans oh an early nano i missed that vodka still doesn't have a nano interesting maybe it's because he's down in metal i don't know usually nanos are energy dependent he's probably just not like managing his build power correctly because really you want to get that nano up as quickly as possible and with wind at 15 this is a good time to do it but he's building more wind I don't know about that. So defeat in detail right there. And here's Vodka getting more vision. I mean, he had that there for a while, but you know. Two LLT. He really doesn't want run bys. The thing is, you can run by right here along this whole backside. And I'm sure Vodka will a couple times this game. Yeah, Vodka only goes one, and he gets a radar first. That's such a nice position for the radar. You can see this area. Okay. I think you can't see up there from down here. I think. Not 100% sure. But um, maybe his intent was trying to wrap around. Because you can see when there's an LLT, if you're in player cam or player view, you'll be able to see the little radius around. Look at this player view. Well, if he saw an LLT, it'd poke out, you know, and he'd know that there was... Yeah, look at that. Look at... Th this is what I mean about Milady, man. He has no vision of nothing, man. He always does this. 
you just spread the units out so you can figure stuff or you know like just send a constructor out this way build like a radar here radar in the corner or something like that all right this run by is going to do good though vodka knows it's coming but he's not really microing okay he, his mouse is over here mm. So if you're like overwhelmed like this, you can self-destruct the LLT. Oh wait, yeah. Okay, no. Melody's saying, you know what? I see the LLT range because yeah, you see the little circle around the LLT. So he's like, I'm just gonna get the free stuff. Wow, Vodka. Why did he make these storm? What are they doing? It's like 340 metal that's just not helping in all this. Interesting. Okay, so he's clearly losing out on a lot of his extractors. It's going to take a while for him to get all that back, but he does have the wrecks of the AKs, if that's worth anything. He started to make thuds. Mm, I don't know. Definitely Milady is in the lead after that. But he doesn't, you know, he can't really see anything beyond that, so he's going to walk out of the LT. Just. No, he's still putting on pressure. Oh, he's already starting a lab switch. Look, he's reclaiming. Yep. So he probably sees that Vodka is just heavy on the bots, and he keeps putting pressure on him, so he, you know, Vodka has to constantly remake his bots. He can, he's not in a position that he can just go leisurely into a tech switch. Oh, there he's trying to self-destruct it. But he, Oh, Milady knew, and he walked out of the range. It has a small range on it, but... By constantly putting this pressure on, he's basically forcing him to have to uh, keep uh, building units. Which is good, because he's tech switching. So, oh, and he's building riot tanks. Oh, man. Riot tanks destroy bots. It is disgusting. So, I mean, now that he put him, having to, he put him on bots, because he kept the pressure on so much that now he's going to have riot tanks to completely destroy the bots that he was just forced him out, you know. But he does have all these wrecks, so if these resers get to work, I mean, Vodka can basically, even though he's technically down in metal, uh, if he can get the metal of all those wrecks, you know, his army value will go up significantly. Does he even have a radar? This is his only radar here. Oh no, there's one right here too. Okay, I see. Oh, and we're right here. Okay, so he's doing alright. Yeah. So these storms, I don't know. He should just kind of push into this. I don't really understand the walking around in circles. The the riot tank can just barely outrange the commander. It can barely get out of the D gun range if you micro it correctly. It can put pressure on all of this, but I think he's probably just going to go for artillery. Artillery win every scenario against bots if it's a stalemate because the artillery does splash damage. Okay. Yeah, so now he's starting to... Okay, Vodka's starting to get, like, not overwhelming, but he's starting to get, like, an actual force because he's, he's resurrecting everything. And this is kind of bad news because he can start putting pressure on. And that's where Vodka shines is when he just starts putting a bunch of pressure. He just can't control it. So the riot tanks are going around for... Uh, mm, I don't understand this. He doesn't have vision. Okay, he probably is just like, I'm going to pick off these free mexes. He realizes there's no mexes there, and he's like, all right, I guess I'm going to go around. But these guys are so slow. Vodka knows they're coming. He's going to completely reposition by the time they get there. And after he kills them, he's going to be able to res the wreck. So I don't understand. Okay, the artillery comes out. The artillery beats the storm. If you just have, if you have like four artillery, then the splash damage starts killing all the storms. So... Another thing is, uh, they will always, so, okay, if you have vision of it, and you don't set a priority target, the artillery will always target uh, resource production first. So, what Vodka should have done right there, knowing that he was targeting the solar, he should have just reclaimed it and got all the metal back. Because if you reclaim it, even if it has one health, you get all the metal back. Um... Okay, so these are those. Yeah, so here's the thing. He, yeah, this is going to do a little bit of damage. I mean, they're already weak because they took LOT damage from over here, but... Really? He's going to kill these, and then he's going to res the whole thing. So I don't know if this is good. 
a good trait. So the artillery finally pushed through. And Milady's starting to build up raiders. Okay, so raiders are actually a problem for Vodka now. He has to do something else. Bots are not going to cut it against raiders. Or AKs. You need, like, an overwhelming amount of AKs. And the raider has a tiny amount of splash damage. And they can kind of shoot over each other. So the AKs, just, they just get completely whooped. If this starts to become critical mass, then he has to do something different. And he's just building... I mean, he's just keeping the same... I don't know. If he reses these level, levelers... Okay, so... I think this was just... Does he not... Oh, he lost the radar, so he didn't know if he actually owned this? Oh, no. I don't know. He's just... Kind of trying to put some pressure on, I guess. He needs to wait till he gets about... Nine? Like, look at this. Oh, my God. All of these combined is ridiculous. That's a crazy army. It, you know, I really don't like how the leveler and the artillery look so similar on this strategic icon. Look at that. It's so hard to tell. Yeah, but that one leveler in there makes all these AKs completely useless if they try to fight this. Looks like Vodka's slowly being picked apart. Yeah, the artillery range is just so strong in the early game. You know? Oh, he's lab switching again. Lab switch to air. So he's probably doing this for blade wings. If he can blade wing everything, he can just kill the commander. The commander is the only thing that matters in the entire game. So if he can just stun this shit and just run his stumpies in, or his raiders in. Oh, Vodka's changing up. Finally going for T2. Okay. Doesn't have the metal for T2, so this is going to take a quick minute. <coughs> and he's going to be on the defensive now. Because... Uh... When you're going for T2, you need that metal. He can't really build anything. He has no way to rebuild his bots, so he's only going to be resing stuff or reclaiming. Yeah, he's probably reclaiming to get this faster, even though reclaiming is slightly less efficient. What I would do right here is, since these storms aren't going to have any value, just have the commander reclaim the storms. Get the full metal cost. I think it's 110. 110 metal right there. And then use these to just kind of zone it. Now, these raiders, they could do tremendous damage. If he actually used them, I don't understand. He can totally just plow through all this. Oh, vodka. So he started predicting the blade wings. Oh, but they're actually bombers. So vodka probably didn't see air, but he saw on the radar the blips. He saw the blips of uh, units moving over other units. So that's definitely, you know, even though he didn't actually physically see it, he saw it on radar. Well, he's about to lose a lot of power. But he was prepared, so it's not game-ending. Looks like he built these first because he totally thought it was going to be Blade Wings, not Bombers. But, you know, it's not bad. I mean, this, this could have did a lot more damage. He didn't take out the build power, which is kind of big. But he didn't know it was there to begin with. He probably should have sent the Scout first so that he can get clear view of where to bomb first. Usually the first run on your bombers does the most damage. Okay. So he's still using the storm. I don't know. I would just recycle these and start getting yourself into T2, my guy. Get your energy back. So it looks like... Okay, there's the blade wings. Okay, now he has to be cautious because the blade wings can stun all of this. Oh no, I guess he has anti-air now. But... I don't know, I still feel like this many raiders could just drive right across if you knew where the commander was. He probably doesn't have appropriate vision. Yeah, it just looks like overwhelming numbers, so, you know, it's scary to, to run into, but what he doesn't know is all those are puny little AKs that do nothing, you know. Probably should have made some weasels. Okay, so... Oh man, look at all this. Rezzing is so efficient. Yeah, the artillery are just... Okay, so he's, he's basically like getting free trades with the artillery, but I don't know. I don't think it's fast enough because this guy is starting to build T2. I mean, he's already in T2, but I mean, he's starting to do T2 economy. Look at that. He already has a moho. Uh, you know, he has a freaker over here starting pyros. This is dangerous, but... 
Milady still has a uh, way better energy because of that bombing run. Vodka is just struggling for energy. And he keeps building energy heavy stuff too. Like static structures are so energy heavy. Okay, so he's trying Tidal. On this map, Tidal gives you 21. Okay. So that's kind of good. I don't know, I think you should just make another wind farm. Wind is so good on this map. And you know, Tidal is... Mm, wind is cheaper, kind of. In his scenario. So... Okay, 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 okay. So the blade wings are stopping all this. Not really, though. It should be stopping that freaker. Does that actually stop building? It doesn't! Oh, maybe it does, but he's just not microing it correctly. I think it does. Man, these raiders are so... He's using them too defensively. He needs to put pressure on with them. He needs to go somewhere and do something with them. But he's waiting too long. Vodka now has almost complete map control. Look at this, we're at 42. 42 versus 35 metal production. And he does Mortys. Look, Mortys get a lot of hate, but that 900 range, or 850 range, is really strong. Yeah, it does stop. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, but when the structure decays like that, it gives you all the metal back, I'm pretty sure. So he's using the artillery right. I mean, look at the trades they've got. It's pretty good. But it's like too slow, you know what I mean? It's too slow. Vodka can just... He should be starting... He should be starting production. Oh, he still doesn't have energy! Oh my god! He's building a fusion. Alright. I don't know, the energy game on this is just insane. Going by the run by. Okay, that forces the raiders off. Still has the Mortys. The problem with Mortys is they just miss everything. Look at this. They're hitting a radar blip over here. It's just disgusting. Like, you need, like, a, a weasel or something. Something to give them vision. They're just completely useless, especially having them in low numbers like this. Look at this. This is a T2 unit with 66 DPS that's been hitting this LLT for the past 40 seconds, and it hasn't even killed it. Oh, man. Oh, so he's gonna consume- oh, he got the double. Okay, that'll kill that. Okay, so he's the commander. He just lost everything. Get your resers out. Oh, he doesn't have any resers. Let's try it. He needs a T1 lap. Making roaches. Okay. Roaches are so good against pyros, it's disgusting. They kill the pyro. They, uh, destroy- I think they destroy the wreck, too. Makes it bad, man. Pyro can't do shit. Especially when they're grouped. Like this right here can just run in, do this damage, run out. I don't know. He's being so conservative with his raiders. I don't think he has to be. I can't believe these storm haven't been recycled yet. Baka's still going back. Just making pyros. So I don't know, in the long run, this is like a bad Oh! He made a spy? Oh yeah. Completely destroyed those. He's gonna kill them with one pyro. That's crazy. Normally the pyro has a tough time against raiders, but uh, when you stun them with a spy, I'm surprised he built that with his energy the way it was. And the blade wings can't even help you. Oh man. Alright, so now Vodka's in a pretty tough spot. Three Mortys? I mean, Mortys are kind of garbage, but three of them is kind of a big deal. Starting to, I'm sure he's starting at. Oh no, he's just going pure pyro. I don't know, man. These people, they're smarter than me, but I don't know. Don't understand. I would just go Morty's radar bots for the line of sight and just pick them off slowly and slowly. But he's just going for. The, they're both going for it too. But he has roaches. I mean, roaches are like they destroy pyro so easy. Well, not if they just stand there all grouped up like that. You don't want the roaches to damage your commander. Yeah, you don't want them to stand next to each other. They're going to kill it themselves. Oh, that's not good. Commander's low. Both commanders are low. What is he doing? He has no energy. Oh, this is crazy. 
This is crazy. He has to stop everything. Okay, he stopped all this production so he can start degunning. Okay. That's good. Degun the pyros. Pyros still do damage even if you degun them because they explode. Okay, what the? A legit draw. Holy. Okay. Well, uh, that was fun. A lady with way higher APM. Oh, I guess that doesn't count because there was a pause, right? Interesting. Oh, I didn't go to the damage. Oh, that was a good game.